Hey, We're live everybody. So good to be here. I went. Yeah, I know. Thank you very much for your time. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Um, for anybody that's watching, I'm Bob Gentle. You probably know that. If you don't, I host the Personal Brand Entrepreneur Show, the Personal Brand Business Show, um, and Amplify, as you can see by the nice bouncing logo. Um, my business is all about helping you build, market, and monetize your expert business. I'm joined by Jan Koch from Virtual Summit Mastery, List Building School, and probably some other things as well. <laughs> I'm moving, uh, moving away from Virtual Summit Mastery, actually, that has gone back to Navid Moases. You oh. can find me as the uncommon solopreneur these days. Right. Well, Jan is somebody I really admire. And if you've been reading any of the stuff in the run up to this live stream, you'll know a little bit of background, but Jan is one of the most productive people I know. He's always busy. He doesn't waste his time. I think like a lot of entrepreneurs, time is very precious. And you also have a young child. You work from home. But one of the things I, I note is you are prolific when it comes to content. And I've known for a while that you have a friend helping you, some AI helping you generate that content. Now, I've tried this from time to time, and it's always been a bit of a mess, and I have a few issues with it. But when I look at what you're doing, it works. So I want to know how. Yeah, and so for the next wee while, you are in the driving seat. Um, if you want your screen up on the screen and you can't do it, I think you should be able to do it. Let me know, and I'll do it for you. But Jan Koch, over to you. Also, Thank introduce you so yourself a little bit first. Yep, thank you so much for having me, Bob. As I said, I run the Uncommon Solopreneur these days. You can find me at jankoch.co. I help creators, freelancers, marketers do more with their business without working themselves into the ground. Um, my focus these days is email marketing. That's where I spend most of the time talking about. I am also the event success director for Scalefest, which is a big conference coming your way in April next year scalefest.com is the link for that and what i appreciate you, about you bob is that we are open to having a really just honest conversation i don't want to turn this into an advertorial for the tool that i've been i'm using even though that's essentially the backbone of my content creation process there are boatloads of ai tools out there and what i would love to start with is something you brought up and i hear over and over and over again is that there are these misconceptions about ai tools and they are quite messy if you're just starting out and you have to to rewire your mind a little bit about how content creation works and for me it's a game <laughs> i really like playing with ai because sometimes ai works brilliantly out of the go sometimes ai messes up big time and you don't even know what why it happened what happened so bob when you think about ai generated content what are some of the things that hold you back from spending more time exploring this field well one is like any tool you need to spend time learning how to use it and I'm only going to invest time learning how to use a tool when I'm confident it's going to get me the results that I'm happy with. And so far, that hasn't been the case. Number two, when I write, I'm thinking very hard about the effect that I want to have, who I want to reach. Um, and I, I put a lot of thought into what I'm writing. And when I use AI tools, sometimes it's saying something that I wouldn't have said. It's not, it's not to say that it isn't good. It's just, it feels like there's an integrity gap for me. There's, there's a disconnect uh, in the tone of voice. That's yeah, it, it, it's not so much a disconnect in the tone of voice. Yes, that might be the case. But it's, well, I'm putting this content out as it's coming from me, but it's not coming from me. Some, a, a computer wrote it. Yeah. Um, and it's not necessarily something that I had the impulse to express. However, when I see the results that you're getting, I think, <laughs> well, it does come across as you. 
And I think this is the result of learning how to use the tool. And this is why you've yeah. teased me and teased me and teased me. And we're talking now. Yeah, 100%. And I have been playing with this platform that's now known as Jasper AI since, I want to say, December 2020, when they launched the beta version known as Conversion AI back then. I think I was around the first 1,000 users, maybe first 500. And since then, it has come a long way. The first few months were pretty useless, to be honest, but I wanted to support the team because I knew the founder. And what I see AI as is essentially a tool to create ideas and it's a tool to find new angles on topics. And AI helps me overcome writer's block. It helps me not start with an empty page when I create content. It gives me a framework of a train of thought sometimes even that I follow through with my emails or with social content, what we are showing in a minute. And it helps me shortcut this decision-making process. Okay, I have my topic. I'm not sure what the best angle is for me. I'm not feeling particularly creative on this day. Maybe I had a short night. My daughter has two years. And as you said off camera, I'm not allowed to sleep with, with that age. <laughs> and um, I, need, I, need some, I need some help with that. So let me actually bring up my screen and show you the Jasper dashboard. Let me see. Well, while can... you're doing that, I'll just say to anybody that's watching, if you have any questions, just put them in the chat. Yeah. If you if you are watching on um, YouTube, you can ask your questions. They'll come up in the chat. If you're watching on LinkedIn, go to YouTube. Um, <laughs> sorry, the LinkedIn problem, not a me problem. Brilliant. Um, do you need me to share your screen, or is it going to let yes, you? Yes, I I think you need to put it up. Okay, there you go. Perfect. So I'll zoom in a little bit. This is way too big, but this is essentially how you greet it with Jasper. They've recently revamped the platform after raising a Series A with $125 million. Mm -hmm. they, they are valued at $1.5 billion, 18 months into building this company. Quite ridiculous how fast they're growing. And these are all the types of templates that Jasper can write for you. Can write for you Facebook ads and Google ads, blog elements, e-commerce elements, emails, frameworks, and so on. And I have highlighted a few that I find myself using more often than others, um, which is the ADA framework, so attention, interest, desire, action. I use that quite a bit for social content. Email subject lines, I use that all the time to write subject lines for my emails. Uh, full disclaimer, my open rate is about 46 to 53%. That's pretty so nice, yeah. Must, must be doing something, right? There's more to that than subject lines, but obviously it's quite important. Then there is the video sales setup. They've teamed up with the inventor of the VSL to actually formulate the AI behind this full blog post and a paragraph editor. But what I want to show today is the feature of the boss mode. So it's not on the cheapest plan, but if you go for Jasper AI, the boss mode is something you have to have. And I'll show you the social media campaign workflow. So before we do this, I have no idea what topic I want to write about in those social media campaigns. I, I, on, I honestly have not prepared anything. So let me bring up the templates in a new tab. And let's find some marketing angles. My new email course that has come out is supercharge your email list. I am not particularly creative, or as Bob said, I don't like to waste my time. So what I do as the input with AI, oh, AI tools obviously always need an input to write content so they know what you want to write about. And I want to promote this course, let's just say. So I'll take snippets of the sales page, just the first five paragraphs. Copy them here as a product description. For the tone of voice, let's go with happy. And let's generate the output. It might be total BS, might be quite on point. So we'll see what this comes up with. What, what I want to say at this point is, before we look into the output, AI is a tool, so you have to think for yourself. 
if you approach any AI content creation with the thought of, I put something in and magically the text appears just as I, as I would have written it, you're setting yourself up for a massive disappointment. That's not the point. The idea for this is, okay, I now have 12 different suggestions. There will be duplicates in that, but I'm not starting from, from a blank page. So now I think I see this, learn how to turn your email list into a predictable income stream. Stop struggling with growing your email list. Learn how to segment effectively. Discover the secrets to writing sequences that convert new subscribers into paying customers. So I can now take this and say, okay, that's actually a topic that I would write content about when I was promoting that email course. So we'll take this one take this right here, copy that to the clipboard and head back to the social media campaign workflow. And now I know, okay, the campaign we are working on is related to writing sequences in email newsletters. It's, it's related to nurturing subscribers. It's related to building relationships with your email subscribers through autoresponders. So the company name again, I'll put the product in here. in the supercharge i'm just completing yeah i like that it offers the tone of voice as witty that's <laughs> probably not me without i'm just adding a bit more context to it because i know what this course is about and now i can think of various ideas how it, how you can frame nurturing sequences and what the problems with nurturing effectively are that build an emotional level of trust with your subscribers. You can throw as many call to actions at them as you want and they will never care about anything you put into your newsletters. Instead, your autoresponder needs to develop the no like and trust factor so that you can challenge the subscriber to take action and fix the situation. So this is like seed content and any right. company, any organization is going to have seed right. content assets lying around their business. Right. And if you are even more lazy than I am, you would just have pasted this from the sales copy directly into the social media campaign workflow. It would write or it would work as well. However, with deviating a little bit from the content I have in there, I reduce the risk that Jasper will just put out what is on the sales page already and yeah. will create something that's related to it rather than the same thing. So you put happy as a tone of voice. You could even, what, what's also funny, you can even have uh, <laughs> Joe Rogan or Gary Vaynerchuk or something like that as tone of voice. <laughs> that, let's play with that. I, I, you could even have Iron Man and stuff like that. <laughs> so... <laughs> What, what's now coming out is this first piece of content, Supercharge Your Email List is the only course that will show you how to write sequences that convert subscribers into paying customers with over 10 years of email marketing experience, blah, blah, blah. So when we use this, this is now serving as the seed content into actually creating the post. So you, you'll find this as product description in here. And now here's the point where you have to think yourself and where you have to pay attention because as you said, it comes up with content you wouldn't write yourself. One thing I would never say is that my course is the only course to show you something. There are boatloads of courses who do that something. But what I can say is the that best. You can put it down as the best. <laughs> is a proven and repeatable system you can or that that will show you so instead of saying the only it's a proven and repeatable system because that's what it is and then when ai tools create facts they literally do that they create them out of thin air 
So <laughs> never take any number for granted, never take a name for granted, never take an address for granted. Always double check that. In my case, it's 12 years of email marketing experience. Um, tone of voice, Joe Rogan, let's just leave this in there for the fun of it. And now it actually created a post following the AIDA principle, attention, this is the hook. Do you want yeah. to know how to increase the value of your email list? Mm -hmm. If you run an email list, if you have one, this will probably get your attention. This will probably stop you from scrolling on social so, media. So if, if people have been watching up until this point, there, there is a danger that be, they've been getting a little bit bored. However, what I'm looking at here from some pretty vanilla seed content, you created something really punchy. Right. Right, that, that, that's the point. If you were, that actually really good catch to bring this up at this point. If you were to write an AIDA framework yourself, you would probably spend 30 minutes just getting into the mood to actually be creative and write punchy copy. I can't get in front of my computer and say, oh, I'm creative, I write copy. I first need to read a little bit. I need to think through the topic. I need to think through what I'm working, uh, what, what I'm writing about, who I'm writing for, and so on. And AI can shortcut that process. The interest, what, what is it that people want? They want sequences that convert new subscribers into paying customers. They want to know what works and what doesn't so that they can improve the effectiveness of the autoresponder. They don't want to waste time. Nobody wants. What is it that they desire? They want subscribers to trust them so that they take action. I'll show you how to build an emotional level of trust with your subscribers so that they are more likely to fix the situation they found themselves in. That is actually one-to-one -one what I put in into the seed content. So take this as AI failed or take this as the seed content was good so that it works with this context. For me, I don't see why I couldn't use it in this situation. And then the call to action is increase your the value of your email list today. Get started with supercharge your email list. I like this, actually. That's something that I could put into my social media campaign straight away. I have no problems doing this right now. So if I didn't like this, I'd actually just copy this to the clipboard and then we regenerate. If I didn't like this, let's give Jasper another try. Do you want to, to know how to turn your email list into a converting machine? I'll probably rephrase this into a conversion machine or money printing machine, something like this. I've been in the email marketing game for 12 years. I know what works, what doesn't. <clears throat> this is too much me focused for my taste. I would rewrite this into something like I can show you what works and what doesn't. So this is again where you have to think for yourself, but this is still quicker than writing this from scratch. Like we've spent maybe five minutes, maybe maybe seven or eight minutes going through this process and we have two posts right now that we could go through. Imagine if you could get paid every time someone opened one of your emails. Well, supercharge your email list, now you can. This course is packed with information that would help you increase the sales and conversions from your email list. Sign up today and start turning your subscribers into paying customers. That's actually a pretty strong call to action oh I, I saw that there's there's a chat so this is jasper ai um perfect yeah you already were way quicker than i am i'll let you explain <laughs> briefly brilliant actually the the uh, bonus link that you can use is jankoch.co slash jasper let me see if i can put this into a private chat yeah so with this link, you get 10,000 words that you can create for free. It's a seven-day free trial. And if you become a paid customer because you like this, I give you three months access of my list building school membership as well, where you learn how to build your email list and monetize it from 25 of the best experts that I personally know for this. So back to this context. We now have an engaging instant post. And what you want to do before copying this into any social media platform is, of course, remove the identifiers for the separate elements of the AIDA framework. And we'll make this a money 
printing machine. Everybody would want to have those. And I can show you what works, what doesn't. I can teach you. Okay, so let's fix this the seed content as well because what help what happens in these frameworks is that you create this one piece of content and that serves as a seed for the next and then the next right. and the next and that lets you build up a series i can prove to you what works and what doesn't generate so essentially this entire process that i'm wor working you through right now is just this is now generating an Instagram post with boatloads of hashtags that we could use. Now you can I write see. a Twitter so, thread. So it's created the email, and now it's creating social media content using the same seed. Yeah, right. Nice. So this, this, is, this is now posts on social media that, that you can use. And when I look at those hashtags, email marketing, autoresponder, email list growth, engagement strategies, list building tips, optimized content ideas they they look pretty good to me if you are really serious you would run them against any form of a ranking tool for to find the best hashtags but if you are uh, if you care about efficiency you could probably just copy and paste them and see how they pr uh, perform over time this next one is a twitter thread generator so let's do this we now have one regular post that could go out to facebook linkedin and so on. <laughs> it even brings emojis into this. So let's see. Are you ready to supercharge your email list covered with 10 years of mar email marketing experience? I'm bringing you the only course. Again, this is something you would rewrite. You never want to say you are the only one in anything because chances are you aren't. In this course, I'll take you through step by step how to create an autoresponder that builds emotional level of trust with your subscribers with a shaking hand emoji. <laughs> I've never seen that before, but that makes me laugh. Find the solution you need. You want to feel them empowered. And that's what, what the sentence does. The course will involve creating well-written sentence sequences, which will be tailored for your business and industry. This is actually a fact that Jasper made up that is not true. There are templates for the sequences, but it's not about writing sequences. It's about creating the segments to write the sequences too. So that is something that I would have to fact check. But let's just take that for a second. Now we have the Twitter thread. I'll take you step by step through this, which will be tailored. So this is Grammarly, by the way, that I use for the yeah. for the updates here. Creating. And I've got to say, for somebody who's not a native English speaker, right? I just imagine how long that this would take you to sit down and write and even as an English speaker who's quite comfortable with writing where we've got to so far is probably several hours worth of work but when I write Twitter threads myself I usually spend about if I don't use Jasper it takes me roughly 30 to 45 minutes if I yeah. have five six seven tweets in that thread by the end of the course you know exactly how to make sure your emails get open, read, and read, encouraging more people to click through and purchase from you. This is a strong statement, I think, showing that Jasper knows you, <clears throat> Sorry, you have to give people a perspective of what happens when they enrolled into the course, what, what is life like afterwards. Yeah. I, I never told him, him, her, whatever you want to call that, to write something like this it came up with that itself and i think that that's the power of ai and that is something i probably would have missed if i'm not really 100 percent concentrated it's easy to miss things like this ready for a masterclass in email marketing sign up now i'll probably just post this later i'm glad we're doing this yeah. bob thank you um as somebody who's quite comfortable with writing and i tend to not struggle with writer's block at all I can see how this is extremely useful. If I put myself in the shoes of most of my clients where they're busy doing their day job, they don't have a lot of time for content creation. Yeah, They do struggle with writer's block and um, 
spend hours often um, really agonizing over every word. And something like this. I mean, there are other tools than Jasper, but what I'm saying here, I can definitely see will release a lot of people from a lot of pain. You, you've dis discovered the, the magic behind all my content. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that, that's literally how I create my content these days and how I'm able to keep up with all of that. And I spend maybe three hours a week creating my content if it's that much. So what, that's about the same as me and you manage 10 times more. So I'm sold. <laughs> um, so well, I've got, bon I've got a bonus for us. you. Now <laughs> we're about halfway through our time. Um, yeah. I'm just going to reintroduce Jan because I think people have joined halfway through. Jan Koch uh, runs List Building School and what's the other thing? Solopreneur. Uncommon Solopreneur, yeah. Uncommon Solopreneur. Um, and he's showing us how he generates way more content than me in about the same time using AI. Um, and there's a great comment from Heston Creative. If only Jasper could create video content too. I'll show you in a minute how I script my videos using Jasper. Yeah. Heston Creative, that's Neil. I, I'm, hi, Neil. Um, I'm assuming it's Neil. So, yeah, it's just... Yeah, sorry, I interrupted. No worries. Um, yeah, if anybody has questions and you're watching, pile them in the chat and we will deal with them as they come up or at yep. the end. Yeah, and we'll also, if you're watching the replay, by the way, put the questions in the chat still because I'll be monitoring them. Um, but let's go through the social media flow. Facebook post headlines. Summarize, so the command that you tell Jasper, that's the cool thing in, in boss mode that I've glanced over so far. You literally tell jasper what to do i could also say in this command summarize the content into three exciting email subject lines and it would create three exciting email subject lines so you can write a command jasper goes through all the content we've created so far understands exactly what has been written. I, th I think on boss mode, it goes back up to, I want to say 8,000 characters that it can read back and then understand what has been written to stay on message on point. Because in the early days, you had AI go on tangents all the time. They always lost track of the plot. <laughs> Facebook post headlines, but that's not the problem anymore. So let's go back to Facebook post headlines, keep the same content in here and see what Jasper comes up with. And the idea of those ones is, of course, to get people to stop scrolling. So they will be quite attention grabby and they might be too clickbaity for one's taste. I prefer preface that. Grow your business, take email marketing to the next level, learn how to turn subscribers into paying customers with supercharge your email list. That's actually one I would feel comfortable putting out. That That's not too hypey. That's pretty much what this supercharger email list is about. Increase your revenue streams now, tap into 10 years of ex expertise and create autoresponders that build trust and get results. It's not as strong from my personal taste because increase your revenue stream now, everybody says that that's not going to stand out whatsoever. Tap into 10 years of expertise is nice, but uh, we, we'll just regenerate and see what it comes up with as alternatives. Discover the proven autoresponder strategies, supercharge your email list. Now that's actually nice how they put the title of the course as the call to action. Tap into my, I like those way better because tap into my 10 plus years is more personal. Invest in your business and supercharge your supercharge list today. So let's go with those. We have the headlines. We'll take, let's see. I want to have the second one, not the first. So we take those. Write an engaging post that persuades my audience to move toward action. So let's see how Jasper tries to persuade us to do something.
Are you looking to get more out of your email list, turn subscribers into paying customers? You're in the right place. I've got the proven strategies to help you supercharge your email list and watch it grow. Today, we're specifically looking at crafting sequences that get results by understanding fundamentals of autoresponder sequences, blah, 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 blah. Building trust is essential for converting leads into paying customers, especially when it comes to email marketing. To establish credibility, aim to prove to provide value with every single message. So this is way beyond buy my course now type content. <laughs> this is actually teaching, telling people what they should do without asking them to buy my course. So this is pretty impressive. And it's pretty long, as you can see. At the end of the day, crafting autoresponse messages is a powerful business tool that allows you to build relationships with prospects over time so you can eventually convert them into loyal customers who keep coming back for more. Don't we all want those? Invest, investing in yourself by learning this proven strategies now has great potential for generating revenue down the road. Something definitely worth considering. I'll take that any day of the road. Yeah, that's pretty so, awesome, actually. Yeah, <laughs> there was almost nothing in there to change. One of the things that I'm seeing with this, because I th I'm, I'm assuming, because there are so many people using Jasper and the processing power behind it, it must be learning more quickly than other less heavily serviced AIs. Because yeah. I know there's, there's things like, uh, I can't even remember the names now, but there are lots of cheaper tools, but they won't have the user base and therefore the AI can't learn as quickly. Yeah, I, I um, let, let's deviate from that because there's no point in going through another Facebook post body and then going through a LinkedIn post. I think by now we've, we've made this workflow pretty clear and there's a lot more that, that we can talk about. Um, one thing I show you what Jasper does really well is how users can help train the plugin, uh, train the platform. So this is um, <laughs> this is actually the post that I wrote for the announcement of this of this session right here. So I had the the copy that you had on the event with the name of the of the webinar. And when we scroll down here, this is the post that went out on all my right. social platforms exactly the same thing and now what i can do is you see how you can mark this as favorite copy open in a document and you can upvote and this upvote feature tells the jasper ai engine this was good output yeah and if there was really bad output you can downvote so that that's actually i think they have 50000 customers don't let don't make me lie, but but easily over twenty k customers, they all upvote and downvote because it's in their best interest to make the platform better. And what Jasper does really well is they work with the best copywriters in the game, and they have copywriters come in to the office, train the the team internally on the copywriting principles, on the psychology, and then the team can somehow magically create an AI that understands those copywriting principles. It, brain, it makes my brain hurt. It, it's quite strong. And I, I truly believe that, let's say, two years down the road, if it takes that long, content creators will be left behind if they don't know how to use AI. I mean, we have literally, because you can use this in various languages, I've seen kids in school write essays using AI and the teachers get frustrated because they have to read AI written content. And that that's I, I think that's that's a problem that society isn't ready for. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I tested an AI tool the other day and it has an essay workflow. And I'm thinking kids can get away with murder with this. Yeah. Um, but like like you were saying a moment ago, I think it's like a lot of people say AI is going to put writers out of business. That's not the case. Writers who manage to leverage AI are going to get more done. They're going to produce better work in a shorter time. It's like saying, I don't know, accountants are going to get put out of work by computers and spreadsheets and accounting platforms. That's just not the case. 
what they will find is those people who can use those tools and those platforms will stay in business and those who don't won't. Uh, and yep. it's the same for content creators. Um, Absol absolutely. Couldn't agree more. So um, the, the video topic came up. Yeah. I'm looking here forward is, to it. Here is, um, I'm actually working on a content campaign for the Blockvault team. You know, Aksha Chudari from Blockvault, Market, WP Remote, and so on. They are launching a new speed optimization plugin called Airlift, which is a one-click speed optimization thing. And <clears throat> what I've done with this is I've written this entire script. I want to say um, maybe 60% of that is Jasper because there are a few things like statistics that I researched so that I have the right numbers on on loading time statistics and things like that. I want to make a video that gets people excited about the airlift waitlist and gets people onto their email list. And there is a little bit of seed input, 600 characters right here. And now what you could do is tell Jasper, write a video outline for the content description. When I execute this, that's a potential structure for a video. Yeah. It's actually not this one, how to improve website speed and steps to take uh, to improve website speeds are duplicate. And I would probably move, move the factors one up. Factors that affect. So this is again where we can't fully shut off our brains, but we have to think for our, ourselves. Now, what I also want to talk about, because one of the things that sets Airlift apart is that is a one-click configuration, and they claim to generate all the configuration based on what they detect. Pitfalls of misconfiguring caching plugins. How easy is it to break your site? <laughs> because I've done this more than once. Yeah, me too. Add onto the wait list for Airlift today. And now what we'll say is write a creative story about a WordPress website owner who doesn't know how to code and breaks her website while trying make it load faster and this is literally me putting myself to the test right here i've never run this command before but this <laughs> <clears throat> it never stops <laughs> Let, let's see so we have karen supposedly karen was always worried about her website's loading speed she knew that in today's world people had little patience for slow websites she didn't want to lose any potential customers because of a leggy site so she did some research, found out there were a few things she could do to improve her site's performance, including installing a caching plugin. So far, good. Perfect. It's a good good intro to a video because many people who see this video will find it themselves in Karen's shoes. However, Karen was not very familiar with coding, wasn't sure how to install the plugin correctly. She wasn't very careful when she was trying to configure the plugin either and ended up breaking her website in the process. Raise her hand if you've done this before. <laughs> this is pretty spooky so far. Yeah, it is. Now her homepage was displaying an error message instead of a beautiful slider image, and none of her pages were loading at all. Karen was devastated. She had worked so hard on her website, now it was completely ruined. <laughs> she didn't know what to do until she heard about Airlift. Airlift is a service that helps WordPress website owners fix their websites without needing to know how to code. Okay, this is now going off tangent because obviously. Jasper does not know what Airlift is. Yeah. How, how is it supposed to know? All she had to do was to submit a ticket with her website's details, and one of her Airlift, Airlift's experts would take care of the rest. You know what? This is actually brilliant for another campaign that I have coming up about a website maintenance service. <laughs> 
<laughs> so Karen signed up for airlift, submitted a ticket, explaining a problem with the minutes, blah, 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 blah. So this is essentially, I, I, I definitely need to keep this because it's too good not to. Uh, we start a free form template. I'm just so one, of the, on one of the things with Jasper is you have a, a monthly allowance of the number of yeah. words that you can create. Yeah. With the amount of content you're creating, how, what sort of allocation do you? I'm work? on the lowest boss mode plan, which is fifty nine a month, fifty nine dollars yeah. a month. I can create fifty thousand words. Um, so this is fixed runner. That's just so I know what this is about. And we can look into my usage statistics in a minute if you want to. There's a question from Craig Scott asking if Jasper is able to work with graphics too, which is yep. an interesting one. Yeah, it is. Um, there is. Maybe we won't get deviated. Oh, no, we will get deviated. Okay. <clears throat> no, we, we can't look into it because I don't pay for Jasper Art. Okay. But what, I, what I've, I've played around with this and... As you said earlier, I wasn't able to get the results that I wanted to get, and I didn't want to spend the time to learn it. So Jasper AI can create AI tools. Supposedly, those are all created with AI. Um, I think they charge $20 a month right now for this one. Let's see. Interestingly, I noticed Canva have added AI. That's what I use, insane. yeah. That's what I use. It's, it's not great, though. No, it's not. It's, but it will be, I, I'm quite sure. Yeah. I, I think Jasper AI right now is, or Jasper Art is better in creating co in, in creating video content and AI content, uh, images, sorry, than Canva. But that's just the, the thing. Canva has so much data about what makes great graphics. They must have so much data about what elements get used, how often, and what elements get paired, and so on, that maybe six months down the road, they blow everything out of the water. Yeah. So I don't want to deviate too much on graphics, but it is a very good question. And the answer yeah. is yes. Yes. And right well, now, it's pretty, it's pretty good, but you have to give yourself probably two days of full-time learning to get AI images to what you want them to look like. Now, in terms of credits, so Jasper takes one generated word as credit, no matter if you end up using it or not. Right now, you can get 54,500 words and bonuses just from onboarding. They've recently tweaked that. I've been a customer for 18 months, and now I'm still getting this. So there's some something in the beta. That gets that you get again 10,000 free credits with my bonus link. And let's see if I can show my usage. So, in this billing cycle so far, I've generated 23,000 words. Today, so far, we have played around. In total, I've also used it before this, uh, this session. We, we created 3,675 words. The most I had was about 5,000 on a day. And knowing what, because I see your output, that's a lot. Um, it is. If, yeah. if you're managing on the lowest tier, unless you're a professional blogger, it sounds like that's going to be sufficient. Yeah. The, the yeah, average I, blog post is what? Yeah. 2,000 words? Yeah, something like that. And um, if you go to jankoch.co and go through the blog, there are many posts that have. 80% AI content, and I'd be hard-pressed if you can tell the difference. Um, there are many content agencies, though, many freelancers who sell content creation services using this, and then you bump up to the 50,000 words limit rather quickly. But at that point, you're monetizing it. And my affiliate program pays for Jasper, so so be it. Yes. Um, no, I can definitely see what the ROI is on this. Yeah. So you can also have the the SE, SEO thing integrated here. If why we are on the topic of blog content, um, I am not a Surfer SEO customer, so I have not integrated this. But you could do that as well. I think what that does is when you are working in the content documents, it's probably the best place to resume. 
you have another tab right here on the top that gives you SEO insights into the content yeah. that you are actually creating. Now, what's really like cool, target key phrases as well. Yeah, and pro probably density and things like that, keyword density and all that stuff. Um, what's cool with this boss mode is that you have, when you go into power mode, you get this view again. <clears throat> and you can literally see all the templates that Jasper comes with and use them at any point in your content. So let's say at this time, Karen signed up for Airlift and the website was fixed for a fraction of the cost if she would have to hire a developer. So let's go with a before and after bridge framework right here. Let's continue with Airlift as a WordPress service rather than the uh, the plugin that it really is. And this way you can structure your content very easy. That's actually how I write many of my emails. I have a framework. I can I can show that framework in a minute. But now I have these copywriting things at hand i can have this usual uh, this very well known before after bridge concept where before the situation you're a small business owner you've been having problems with your website it's not working and it's costing you customers what if there was an easy way to fix all the technical problems on your website and what if that solution costs you less than someone else to do it for you hiring someone else now there is airlift provides Blah, blah, blah. So this could even go onto a website somewhere. This could even be a landing page on Airlift's website, sign up for a mm. free trial, something like that. And then you can simply paste that into the document at the point where you want it to be. And obviously right now you would have to do a little bit of bridging to actually get the content to flow with each other. Oh, that's brilliant. Thanks for sharing. I'd love to know who that was. I think I know who that is just from the phrasing, but whoever that is, let me know. Yeah, we just see Facebook. I, I, user. I've never used Surfer SEO. I have no idea what that is. It's a brilliant, brilliant SEO tool. We use it for Scalefest quite a bit, but I'm not the one writing the content in there. So this, this is how you structure your emails. Now, one thing that we can also talk about as we come to the topic of emails is my process for that how I keep actually, so right now we, are, we have talked a lot about um, tactics, Pete Everett, yeah. <laughs> hey Pete, gra glad to see you with us. Um, right now we've talked a lot about the how to, now let's talk about the what, let's talk about what I'm actually doing, why uh, I'm creating content at scale. This is the content OS, it's based on uh, Justin Welch and uh, I post a link to this video where I've deconstructed the process from in the comments right here. I'll, I'll share it with you, Bob, and then if somebody wants it, you can distribute that. Step one is idea capture, one idea per week to write about. Look through relevant YouTube channels, sort by most popular videos, read curated newsletters, just find topics that are already hot, that you, you, are, you are already riding a wave of momentum and you're not creating the momentum yourself. Research. This is where I spend most of the time, pull inspiration from tweets, quotes, books, articles, and just put them here into Notion so that I get what other people talk about. And then I know, do I want to continue that train of thought? Do I want to deviate from that? Do I have a contrarian view? And so on. This is my newsletter template. Um, the structure right here is something I learned from Joshua Lysak, who's a million dollar copywriter. He made a million dollars ghostwriting books, doing copywriting on Twitter and so on. And he's a hypnotist, actually. So this is supposedly quite a hypnotic framework. And it's very easy. You just tell Jasper, write a hook about ABC topic. Then there is the PAS, problem, agitate, solution. Write a PAS about that hook. Boom. You have this part of the content done. And then you better have a proof about why the PAS is actually re relevant and working make it easy for people to take action whether that's just reading a blog post you have to de-risk it by this will be worth your time this will just take two minutes you will learn a b c d after reading the blog post or if it's something like 
enroll in my course, you would have testimonials, social proof, guarantees, uh, and so on. And then the call to action. And one thing I have trained myself to do, I don't get it right all the time, but what I train myself to do is that I have a call to action in every email. I'm looking to sell in every single email. And even if I'm not selling, I have a call to action to a blog post or something like that because I want to train my subscribers. An email from Jan comes, there is something to click on and it's going to be worth your time. So when I do that push for a sales campaign, people already know it's going to be good. And that that's the, that's one format. I also have another format, but looking at the time, I'm not going to dive into yeah. this. This is pretty good. Take a screenshot of this and you've got your email newsletter sorted. Um, I think what's interesting having all of this is a large part of the work moves from actually writing to going looking for great seeds yeah. and expanding on them a little bit and then feeding the AI, massaging the output a little bit. And I can yeah. definitely see how this can accelerate. I mean, let's be honest, you need to learn how to use a tool and I, I can definitely see that. It's not as simple as a kid's Fisher Price toy where you just hammer the button and great content comes out the other end. True. When I tried it, that's what I was praying for, but it just wasn't that. Um, but definitely I can, I can see watching you that the time required to learn the tool is worth it. The ROI is clear. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And it is frustrating at times. So the way I, or my brain works is I get to play with tech and that's why I enjoy it. And in the end, it's eventually going to save me time. So that makes it worth, besides the fun, uh, the next steps in that process is when I've massaged my output and have my email ready, I edit it, I add visuals, uh, run through Grammarly, make sure that the sentences are short and concise, that I'm not going on tangents, deliver what's promised, add some links. Then there's a pre-newsletter call to action that goes out on Twitter, something like this where the day before the newsletter goes out, I don't do this as often anymore because I just email too often. I can't do those anymore. But if you have once a week an email, you can have tomorrow I'll break down blah, 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 join 17,325 subscribers. And then you link to the registration page for your newsletter. Post newsletter call to action is yesterday I jo I shared ABCD with 15,000 people on my list. Click here to read the blog version. And then you link to a blog post. So th this is how, how Justin does it. Full credit to him. It's his system. What's really good, when what, what blew me out of the water when I discovered this system is this writing process this is where the fun begins because now you have the topic you have an email list you turn that into a story again problem agitate a little bit expanded with intrigue and positive future and then the solution you write an observational post what's something interesting that you noticed what's a commonly held belief that's wrong what's a listicle that you could write about this where's all of this going what's past versus present then you have one, two, three, four, five, six future pieces of content. And now taking this to the next step, each pieces of content can be seed content for Jasper. So you can blow this up into gazillion amounts of content. It's not even funny how much content you can create with this. And at some point, there's a diminishing ROI, of course. I think the diminishing ROI for me is not the concern. What, what I'm seeing in the wild is you're doing an, an, email, new, an email every day to your list. You've got multiple tweets going out every day, social media content everywhere. The reality is for most people, they don't even manage one piece of content a week, not even a social media post. So with a tool like Jasper, yes, it costs a little bit of money. But if you just connect with one person a month more than you were before, it's paid for itself. Yeah. Um, and if this can take you from no social media content or no video content or no blog post or no email newsletter to one with one, 
one hundred percent. And what what's cool with this whole social media thing? It's funny that you say I'm everywhere. I'm only actively spending time on Twitter these days. So maybe because you're seeing me on Twitter all the time, the impression comes up. I'm also on Facebook and blah blah. I log into Facebook maybe every three days, right now. So it's it's very rare. I I do use LinkedIn a little bit, but Twitter has the main focus. But what you do with this with this process, and this is where all, you also write a Twitter thread of that, of course. But Jasper can do that for you. You can take screenshots of the thread and post them as a LinkedIn carousel. And here is how you manage this entire beast. So you spend, let's say, three hours, once you've mastered Jasper, you've spent three hours, you've been through the process, you're sitting on 10, 12 pieces of content. You spread them out over four weeks in social media tools and planning tools, Hootsuite, Content Studio, Hype Fury is a brilliant one for Twitter and LinkedIn. And what this does is just what you say, over time you are everywhere, even if you're not actively looking at the platforms. And what this is what this is amazing, another big problem many people have is they write one week only about topic A. Let's say this sequences thing we had in the very beginning, how to write sequences that nurture subscribers. On Monday, this is an interesting topic. On, Saturday, on, on Tuesday, I can have a different perspective on that. By Wednesday, if I still talk about that, people get, yeah, we know that you understand this, Jan. I couldn't care less about it. So you have to spread this out. I, yeah, you do have to spread it out. However, if you want to be known for something, a degree of repetition is really important. Yeah, um, it, that, it, that's, that's definitely true. And that is why in this uh, concept you see pre-newsletter on Friday. This assumes your newsletter goes out on Saturday and the blog post goes out on Sunday. So we have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, full focus on the topic. Yeah. Four days straight. And then you start spreading it out. And you, you could obviously choose topics week, week to week that relate and that build on each other so that you can still create expertise in that specific area. I think for me, the key takeaway here is really simple. And we are coming up to the top of the hour. And for me, that means dinner time. Oh, um, I'll second that. <laughs> but for, for most people, social media is a consumption platform. Yeah. And that's the big trap. That's what the social media platforms want. The real value in social media comes in the creation. But that, for most people, is time-consuming. And it's a trade-off. Do I put in all that time and risk it? It, it's, it feels, for a lot of people, it's a little bit like a visit to the casino. I might win. But luck is not a strategy. What you paint there is a really clear, structured approach to content creation using tools to leverage time and get 10 times more done. You don't have to spend any time consuming content at all because that's, for me, that's a mug's game. Yes, you need to engage with people. And one of the reasons I notice you on social media is because you're chatty. Um, <laughs> and I have and the I, time because my content is scheduled. Because you have the time. For me, I use a tool like Agora Pulse. I never have to be on social media at all for, as a, in order to engage with people because it, it gives me one window into everything. Yeah. So if somebody comments on my content, it all comes into one place. But yeah, I've really enjoyed this. I'm sold. I hope people watching um, got something from it. I'm quite sure they did. I'm going to go and see if I can find your link again. There we go. Have I spelled that. your name correctly on there? Please say yes. Yep. Yes, it's perfect. Oh. And for everybody using this, if you end up paying for Jasper, I'll send you three months of list building school access for free, expert interviews on how to maximize your email marketing game. Go to listbuilding.school to see it for free. Uh, five days as usual. I'll upgrade that to three weeks, uh, three months. And list building school is pretty tempting. Yeah. Well, yeah, thank you very much for your time. I've had great fun. I've Same here. So much. I'm going to have to go and play with this some more. I can definitely see that it's worth the money now. 
Um, so thank you for lifting the the curtains from my eyes. Uh, Absolutely. Really Ping me if you have any questions. Also, everybody watching, thanks for being with us, of course. And if you hand, end up having questions, you've got my website now. You know where I am on Twitter at I am Jan Koch. I am in Bob's group. So ping me there and I'll get back to you. And wherever you are watching, the comments will continue to watch them. So uh, if you have questions, ask them wherever you are and we'll deal with them there. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time, Jan. To everyone watching, thank you. And see you next time.